Hello everybody, this is Swiss. Welcome back to another video. Now I'm going to talk about a couple of wearables that I own, a couple of wearables that I bought earlier today. And I'll also show you uh, what I have in my wallet right now on this account. I must say that I do have another account, our investment account, where we buy and sell stuff or where we used to buy and sell stuff before user-created content was a thing. So for now, I do have a couple of cool wearables here. You may have seen some of those. Some of those may be completely new to you. Actually, by now I've completely lost track of what's happening. There is so much stuff coming online every day. It's impossible to know. You always just you know stumble upon new wearables that you didn't know exist. So I'm gonna just show you what I have right now. Maybe that's something that people enjoy. So earlier today I bought this really cool hat. I really like it. It has a very cool texture. I think it's really well made. It's an epic. And I think there is also one with a silver chain. Uh, I like that it's kind of a little bit at an angle. It's, uh, I must say, with this tuxedo, it kind of looks like a driver's hat a little bit. But actually, it's like this, you know, from the SDM scene, I believe you call that. I think it's it's a very cool wearable. I think it's actually quite... Uh, it's actually quite popular and it makes me it makes me wonder if I should also do some kind of headwear. I would love to work um you know I haven't done anything for the head just yet so I think this is going to be yeah this is kind of an inspiration maybe I should do something as well. Actually I do have something in the works um already and uh yeah now you know how it all came about. So yeah so this is it and then I have that skeleton head on and actually this is a mask and I haven't really worked with the head area until now so I realized that if you want to completely replace the head of the avatar, it is going to be in the mask slot. I wasn't really aware of that, but now that I think about it, that's the only logical solution, right? So really, really cool. It wasn't very expensive, so I did pick it up. I must say I'm not a huge fan of the um, skeleton upper body and lower body. I think they're kind of cool i would love to have them but i think they're kind of difficult to combine with other items but again you know this is just a matter of taste i really do like the head though because it's easy to combine and it actually looks pretty cool i mean i must say it looks pretty good and um yeah i think i'm going to go through a couple of things in the wallet we might have a little peek into the decentraland marketplace and just see what's up in the market space in general maybe we can even talk a little bit about prices or something let's keep it freestyle let's see what happens let's just go with the flow all right so i'm not going to review all of the wearables but i'm just going to click through just for fun to see so last rom has uh, dropped this to some of his members and uh I don't know why it's not showing. Let's have a quick look. Okay, now it is showing. So I guess this is a pizza-inspired kind of wearables. I mean, you know, um, yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You know, this is um, this is a pizza-inspired wearable. I'm not too much into the colorful pride things. I don't like the socks here. I do like the shorts. I do like the cut of the shorts, but I'm not a huge fan of all these little stickers and the socks. Um, yeah, so, and it really doesn't go well with the tuxedo. Now, uh, back in the days, there was a collection of these artist items, and one of those items, among those four, five uh, artists, that created a collection. There was this KG Walker pant, and I haven't worn it very often, but it is actually pretty crazy if you look at the texture of it. It's uh, it's very colorful, it's popping. I think it kind of works really well with the female character as well. I don't know if it's great for a male character. I don't know. All of these things are very much, you know, taste related but what's really cool is that they have that bottom which is really narrow and this is really perfectly created for kind of for for a combination with the boots right this is exactly what it's for so i think you know these pants work really nicely with tall boots so the thing is if you go completely crazy and if you combine it with something like uh, what is that artist jacket here it is like it is kind of cool if you love the colorful and the contrast, but I must say that may be a little bit too much. So if you're seeking attention and if you really want to stand out, 
this might be the way to go. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure some people love that. Um, I must say, for me, this is a little bit too much. I like to combine something really colorful with something um, a little bit, you know, maybe a, a one color item. Let's maybe figure something out. What could we combine? I mean, my favorite combo right now, and these things kind of constantly change, is to combine that jacket with these pants here. So these pants are really old school and they don't work with these shoes. Let's pick a different pair of shoes. And yeah, by the way, I did buy these shoes in the morning. It's a legendary white shoe from Artifact and uh, they did airdrop these epic shoes. Or is this an, is this an, what is green again? Green is not epic, this is rare. So there are a lot of these in the world, 5,000 or so, right? But actually if we airdrop these for free to the meta key holder, I believe. And today I actually bought the version that is completely white. And the cool thing about that white version is that it actually glows in the dark mode, right? In the night mode, it actually glows like this. And this is not something that is evident when you um, check it out in the marketplace. You don't actually know. You actually have to buy them or you have to see them um, in game to understand that they have this feature. And this is the real difference between like shopping around and actually trying those things. And uh, I was quite positively surprised. So I think these shoes go really nice with the pants. And because they are so huge, they don't actually clip with the pants. You can wear them with any pant. And I think this is a very cool feature. I, did, I wouldn't have never come up with the idea of making oversized shoes, um, but they actually work. I actually like those. There is also a black version I've seen, and maybe at some point I will get the black version. Um, but I really wanted to have the white ones to go with these pants. I think this is the perfect combo. Now, these pants are probably the least liquid pants from the original collection on L1. I remember these were, were somewhat cheap to buy compared to the rest uh, of the Mythic wearables. So, and they were kind of hard to sell. And there is a female and the male version, which kind of makes it also a little bit more complicated. I'm curious why they actually split it up into separate wearables because they look the same, they are, they are literally the same. So quite an interesting wearable. I don't know what the history of it is. I think sometimes you see it in all sorts of marketing material from 2019, maybe even 2020 and earlier even. I think these kind of pop up a lot. I, I didn't like them in the beginning, but now I actually do like them because, I don't know, I just like these white items or um, yeah, I like those and they work really well with, with the jacket here. So I think this is kind of my favorite outfit. I do like to maybe wear long hair with this, some kind of hippie, hippie style. Uh, let me let me let me show you what I mean. I, th I think I have a couple of tweets with that. So many of you might have already seen that. Uh, where is the hair, sir? So we uh, let me pick this one here and then white. Okay, so this works. I think the hat is suppressing the hair, so we need to deactivate the hat. No. Nope. What about the mask? If we deactivate the mask, and now let's add the hair again. Is this going to work? Yes. So I think right now this is kind of my, <laughs> my favorite outfit. And yeah, I do have to include these glasses here. So I don't know if you have seen these glasses. They are really freaking cool. I think like when this is my very first L2 wearable purchase and I was really hesitating to buy anything on L2. We had a lot of discussions around that and then bam, I've seen these glasses. I love them so much. And you will see why. <laughs> they really give you a little bit of extra character, a little bit of a special touch. So yeah, so this is my, my most favorite outfit right now, but I have other items. And I'll, let, let's have a look at what I bought today. Let's see, um, there is this hat. Like, I bought this hat here, and I just received a tweet that with this hat you get access to a building in Decentraland. I'll have to look up the details. Uh, category 5 building or club or something like that. 
So there is actually some kind of privileges with this hat, with this cowboy hat that I wasn't even aware of. And most importantly, I had no idea, and you will see that now, that this hat actually glows in the dark. And <laughs> look at this, guys. Like, you don't, you have, you, you cannot figure that out when you look at the actual images in the store. And then when you buy it, you get that positive surprise that not only does it look cool on the image, it actually glows. I think this was uh, maybe uh, one of the better buys today. Uh, I think this is my go-to outfit from now on. What else did we buy today? So this hat we have seen, pretty cool. I've shown you the skeleton head. So someone sent me this weird mask. I, I actually thought this is... I think you could probably make this as an actual mouth. And I thought this is an actual mouth, but it's not. It's actually formatted as a mask. And let's remove that mustache so we can see it properly. So I think the idea is actually very cool. Uh, to really, I think Big Mouth is the guy who gave it to me. Uh, I, I love it. I mean, I love the idea. I wish there would be like a variety of these. And I wish they were actually made as a real mouth not as a mask but probably it doesn't even matter right i mean <laughs> how <laughs> strange does this character look now i mean yeah your fantasy is only the only limit what else do we have so i showed you the shoes so i've tweeted about these shoes here so these are the fevocious shoes they are kind of expensive i mean i got them in a special deal with one of my colleagues where he decided to get the physicals and I kind of co-financed those in return for these shoes. And, um, well, I mean, I guess it was a good deal. Now with the L2 um, kind of bringing in some unclarity in the valuation of these items, God knows how much these are actually worth. Some people are selling these for two and a half, three thousand in the marketplace. I'm probably going to keep those because they're kind of special and I like that they have a black sole, not a white sole. I think that is kind of, um, makes them kind of special. Uh, yeah, so I think that was kind of a special investment, let's say. Let's see what else we have. So these barbarian shoes, I bought them because they were like for sale for 600 mana or so, and mana was significantly higher. But nevertheless, they were still considered to be probably the only cheaper mythic than these actual white pants. So actually, I got a good deal on it, but they are very basic. They are very, very basic. I don't think a lot of effort went into making these. So I don't know if that was a good purchase, especially if you don't have the rest of the suit. But, you know, I, I felt like it's a mythic and it's an original one from way back and uh, I got it. These used to be my favorite shoes here, by the way. Like, I love the red socks and I love that the shoes were classic and I love how they created these little details. And, and then I created these shoes myself. So I do have a second version, a darker version. And yeah, I mean... These are tuxedo shoes and maybe I was on the fence of making them rather dark gray. But the thing is, it was important to have a bit of a distinction to the rest of the suit. So in the end, I did go with the with the complete black. So there is a bit of a contrast with the socks and with the pants. And that there is a bit of a repetition with the color. So, yeah, I mean, you know. It was a tough choice to make, I must say, because these shoes were kind of my favorite. I would have normally gone for a design like that, but they had to work well with the, with the tuxedo. So this is this. We have talked about those. I mean, I'm not going to mention the Atari shoes. I mean, the Atari shoes, they used to almost sell for like 900 mana at the peak. And now, recently, some sold sub 100 mana. And uh, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, they are epic. There are a thousand of these, but they were one of the most popular shoes in Decentraland. So, 
it's really strange what's going on in the marketplace, especially since that introduction of the L2 wearables and the user-created stuff. We'll have to see how the value of these developed. But they're actually pretty cool with, um, with these pants here. And these pants are very, very special and dear to me. I've bought those directly after a fashion show in 2020. I think this was maybe at the first fashion show. And I bought them together with... Um, with with my with my with my special hair which i'm wearing all over and which you also see on youtube let me quickly deactivate the head to show you the hair so i almost consider this like my personal hairstyle even though a couple of people are also loving this hairstyle but i am like using it all the time now where is that stuff here it is so this is kind of almost like my brand uh, but I don't mind other people wearing it. I think there are a hundred of these and uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I think it's a cool hairstyle and I think people should do more hairstyles. You know, I'd love to design a hairstyle and I'm sure I will. And this one is a really special one. So I think these pants I bought with this hairstyle together and they look amazing and they match nicely you know, color-wise. And the shoes go along with these really well. And then you also have that t-shirt that fits nicely with this whole outfit i mean there are a couple of tops that feel nice but this one fits really good right so you have this and then you also have these glasses and these glasses were like probably the most expensive item that i bought in decentraland i think so and they're for sale i think i'm selling them for sixty thousand mana so if you want to have like something that almost nobody has then be my guest well, the mana is cheap. So actually, this outfit is pretty crazy because it matches. Everything matches. And then today, let me show you what I bought today that complements this outfit. Uh, earrings. I do love my earrings. So initially, I bought these ones. And they were also quite expensive. And they are really hard to get. Like you, you, You're not going to buy these easily. They actually did fit really nicely with this outfit and they're all from the same designer, I believe. But today I got these ones. And while the thumbnail looks subpar, to say the least, the actual earrings are actually freaking cool. First of all, they already match here perfectly. I mean, it's, um, it's genius. But in world, they look even better with the emission. Check this out. <laughs> This is a perfect match. So I think uh, this could be my new favorite go-to outfit. Of course, I need to get a beard. Like, So I did quickly interrupt the recording because I thought I wasn't actually recording the audio. But now we are back. As I was saying, so this is probably one of the most complex items in the central end. And it's actually pretty, pretty cool. And I want to keep it. It looks great in the night mode. It's... I'm not... <laughs> I mean, it, it really goes far outside of the avatar. The idea itself is insane and it really integrates really nicely with everything. I mean, they really thought this through. Um, I think this is probably... I would, I would say this is one of the best wearables in the central end in terms of creativity and execution. Like, awesome work. Uh, I definitely always want to keep one here. Sometimes, you know, it's just a little bit too much for the other outfits, but it works well with this outfit here. All right, let's see what else we have. Did we buy anything else? So I, I think, you know, these are some of the old school wearables. And this one also was kind of expensive to buy back in the day before. I just bought it before the big boom. So some people might argue it wasn't that expensive, but... Um, I love this one. I love, I love it, love it, love it, love it. But I do have to combine it with different pants. I like to have it with these, normally with these black pants. And uh, but now since I have the tuxedo pants, I'm actually preferring the tuxedo pants because they, they're just a little bit more elegant, and they have these lines here, and they make you look a little bit slimmer. And this really works for me. And with the shoes, I'm still hesitating. Like, these shoes look pretty cool. But then again, these were my favorites. It's, it's a tough one. I think they equally work 
Well, I mean, it really, it's really about the socks. If you don't like, if you don't want the red socks to be there, if you want to keep it a little bit more low key, then something like this, I would say this is pretty, it's pretty sci-fi somehow, right? I love it. The earrings, really good job, man. Let's see what else we have. Man, I wish I would have all the other wearables from the other accounts as well, so we could really have like a maximum choice and combos. Um, so I don't know if you guys want to see all of these earrings. So what's interesting with the old school 2019 earrings that they always are always on one side, right? So this one is actually pretty cool. Let's see, but you see that it's always on one side. And then the new ones, they are on the user created ones, they are on both sides. So that's maybe something that is different. Now, nobody's creating anything for this tiara slot except for these horns. And now this is pretty cool that someone actually created a whole collection of all kind of horns. And I did pick up one of those today and I was actually looking forward to get those for a while now. And I was postponing it and today was the day. And uh, I mean, you be the judge, but I think that's pretty awesome. And actually, like you know, they are in a in a in a in a separate slot, so you can wear them with almost anything without having to sacrifice another wearable. So I think this is really good. <laughs> and I'm curious, like, how can you combine this in a crazy way? And I was like playing around with this, and let's see what we can come up with. By the way, these are the COVID-19 masks. Uh, I don't have all. Of the ver all of the variety here in this account but I, I remember coming to the event and buying all of these and they have never really picked up in popularity I guess uh, maybe this is something for the future who knows but it feels like maybe people don't feel like wearing a mask in game as well what else do we have is there anything else so this one this is another artist wearable that was uh, it hasn't been selling really well recently one sold however but I think it was one of the more complex and weird wearables back in the days before user created stuff was available and I think it's it was just a fun wearable and I think uh, it's more of an art piece than something that I would enjoy wearing but yeah it's fun to have Maybe, I mean, I think I have it for sale and I'm selling it quite expensively, but maybe someone wants to invest into something like that. So, so we're looking for a combo with the horns, right? Is this what we're looking for? Oh, by the way, I forgot to show you. Let me show you this. So quite a few people are starting to use the, uh, the I don't even know how you call that wearable here. The aura, they call it the aura. Quite a few people started to wear the aura now. I love this aura. And actually, I was supposed to show you how this works with the other items that are all shiny. Let's put this all together. This is going to be fun. So we have the glasses. We have the earrings. Uh, let's, uh, let's also use the, the regular Swiss hairstyle. Where is it? Boom. Let's use... The pants we have, the top, we can maybe use the, yeah, the top, shoes. What are we missing? I think this is it. I think, is there anything else that is pink and shiny? Is there anything else? So now, well, the aura works really well when you have a dark wearable, I think. But I think this is pretty cool, actually, right? It's all on point, all on theme, all colorful, all shiny, emission-y. I love it. Maybe this is a new outfit. What else do we have? Is there anything else that we haven't checked out? I mean, we can check out some of the old school stuff as well. I mean, if you guys... I don't know how popular these items are. I think there is quite a lot of supply waiting to be sold. Someone owns a lot of these and... Um, you know, I think they're kind of tough to combine with stuff. The only combination that I think is kind of cool is maybe 
maybe with, with the artist jacket, something like this. By the way, I didn't show you this jacket. I had actually a video made when I bought it. This is uh, as OG as it gets. I think there are very few wearables that are more iconic than this. So I'm not likely to sell this unless somebody makes a crazy offer. There are only 10 of these. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is, this is a keeper. I think people who joined the Central Land relatively late, they haven't, they have not really heard about the soccer tournament. Back in the days, we were able to buy all these soccer shirts, and one of those was actually from the Central Land team. And uh, I wasn't a huge fan of those. I think I have like three soccer shirts, but uh, I do really like this one here, which is orange. Yeah, I, I, now after having designed my own wearables, I do understand why they made such a wide bottom here. And, uh, you know, it's to avoid clipping. It kind of sacrificed a little bit on the design. But now I understand why. But it's actually now that you understand why, it's actually, it makes these wearables even cooler. Because you understand it's not a design flaw, it's a feature. Some of these old school sweaters... I never actually like those much because they make you look fat, right? They make you look weird. But uh, but I think the, the longer we wait, <laughs> these guys will, will be so old school that people will love them. I think I'm starting to like them very slowly though. This used to be my favorite, my absolute favorite one. And actually, the only thing I was missing was, was the pants. And I had, I had one opportunity to buy the pants for a thousand bucks or something. And then somebody came in, bought them, and then I was never able to buy them again at a reasonable price. But honestly, now that I have the tuxedo pants, I think, let me show you the full outfit here with the hat and with the shoes. Something like this. Now that I have the tuxedo pants, I don't actually really need the original ones because these are even cooler and they work perfectly. I mean, they, yeah, I think maybe this is the only this is the only reason why I might have had not chosen dark gray for for the tuxedo but complete black just to work with that suit and yeah I mean <laughs> maybe at some point I will actually just create a unique pant for this particular outfit and just have it for myself because I cannot buy the other pants anymore and if I could it would be more expensive than creating my own so maybe at some point I would do that but actually these work pretty well Oh, I'm, uh, I've been speaking the whole afternoon. I don't even know what else to show you. I mean, of course, we have this outfit here. Um, it was kind of airdrop to us because we hold the meta key. And initially, I didn't know that it's going to be airdropped for free and I actually did buy the, the head part. But, and, um, and now I own two of those. But whatever, things happen. It is actually a very cool idea. And before this was launched, I was actually working on a, um, on a very, very similar item. Um, but they, uh, once I've seen how they handled it with the texture, I think this is a great interpretation of this kind of wearable. And I think now, now it's done. I don't need to go and repeat that. But a great idea. I think, I think this is... I don't know how many they have of these. Like, what is this? Is this a legendary or what is this? No, this is a... This is a... I mean, the, the supply is huge. So, yeah, it's not going to be... It's not going to be super rare. So I'm curious. I mean, I'm not going to touch on the L1 discussion here today. But, of course, we have all of these... <laughs> uh, we have all of these L1 uh, wearables that... We kind of invested into. Remember, guys, how we bought these pullovers? Let me get that head thing off. 
What's going on here? Let's put on something proper. How about something like this? I mean, Kevin, should we put on your hat? <laughs> I mean, it is a fun hat, and it's one of the first wearables, I think, that was published. But I'm not a huge, huge fan of the, of the colors. They are very digital. Maybe, I mean, let's see how this looks. I haven't had it on for a while. It's very freaking digital, man. Okay, so it's, it's even shining. Okay, I didn't even remember that it was shining. It is, it is crazy in a way. I mean, it's got something. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what could we combine this with? I think it goes really well with this sweater. This was really a coincidence. Can we find a suitable pant here? Like, what would be the... Mm, let's see. Maybe something like that. <laughs> I don't know, guys. You figured it out. So, yeah. I mean, there is, there is this stuff here, for example. I mean, for those guys who are joining new, you didn't go through this craze of trying to evaluate wearables. Now, wearables are kind of um, almost an expense item. You just buy it, you wear it, and then you collect it and you forget about it. But back in the days, people were really speculating on some of these, wondering like, what would these be you know, worth in a year or in two years time? But the question is now that we have so many new ideas coming on, what's going to happen to these? I mean, actually, when I look at it, that the quality at the level of detail, it is superior to many of the items that are created today. Um, it's really well done if you think about it, you know. Uh, so I think it's worth keeping some of these. And if you have an opportunity to collect a set like that, why not? I should maybe get the shoes somehow sometime. The problem is like once you start collecting all of these sets, this quickly gets super expensive. And uh, then you wonder if, yeah. So I did collect a lot of the... Uh, We'll see how it's called here. Of the of the three Lao wearables, had quite a few of these, especially on the on the trading account. Yeah, I mean it's you know if, if you're looking for a, a black outfit, it's actually pretty cool, right? I think this one works even better here because the the um, the tuxedo black has actually this shiny effect to it. And the regular black pants are just black. So when you wear black on black, maybe this is not the best effect here. Let's just give it a shot. Do we have any kind of black headwear? Something like this? Yeah, I think this is... This could be fun. Boom! Yeah, I think that's a cool outfit. Yeah, I think we're about to be through. I don't even know if I have anything else to show. I'm, I'm not going to go through every single wearable, but if there is anything that I have left out... I mean, this mask is just fun. <laughs> Whenever I put on this mask, it makes me laugh. I don't know. Just for that, I'm happy to have it. I mean, look at this. <laughs> Ah, I don't know, it makes me laugh each single time. <laughs> Guys, you, you need to get this mask if you, if you have an opportunity. It's going to just give you good mood. You just have to put it on and you're good. You are good. Um, so I actually fell in love with the mana glasses back in the day. The thing is, I've bought so many of those. This is really, I would say, April... 2020, just after joining the Central Land, I bought a ton of the, I mean, pretty much 20% of the supply of mana glasses are on my account. And uh, I've been hodling these forever, and I actually used to wear them everywhere. Um, I should get back into the habit because I still love them. I think they are, I mean, these are the ultimate classics of Decentraland just because 
they're called mana glasses and mana is the currency of the central and and are shaped after the mana symbol so i thought if you want to really have some exposure to the central and wearable items you have to invest into the mana glasses so i did and back in the day if you spend uh 30 us dollars for an item it felt like a serious investment and especially if you bought 20 of those uh, i just came in and just cleaned up the marketplace for a lot of these things and i i hold them ever since and you know you Today, when the land costs like 20,000 US dollars or 100,000 US dollars, it feels like it's completely insane. And some people think, who's going to pay that? It felt the same way back in the days when mana was at two cents. If you wanted to go and pay two, three thousand for the land, when people paid like a hundred bucks two years earlier, it felt like a rip off. It felt like so expensive. And then now looking back, it was a bargain. So it's it's really hard to... It's really hard to, to judge what's right, what's too expensive. These are glasses I bought a couple of days ago. I think I bought them because they were black. And they just looked weird. And uh, I don't know. I haven't really... I, I, I cannot say that I like them. Because maybe the frame is a little bit too thick. But actually with this outfit, they work kind of nice. Uh, I'm still on the fence about these, but sometimes I, I like to collect an item even if I don't necessarily love to wear it Because I think it's just nice to it's intuitive and nice to collect uh, Items for the face And I, I can't wait until user-generated content is going to start making facial kind of um, um, items so the Bitcoin glasses are, of course, a classic. I've sold quite a few of those. They were a great, great investment if you held to them for a long time. Um, I kept one pair just for, my, for myself. So they're not for sale. I think they're cool. They're just special. And uh, it's funny how people consider those almost like a store of value. Recently, one sold quite cheaply. And um, yeah... I mean, you know, it, is, it sold for 1,200 US and it's really tough right now to say if it's cheap or not. But normally that would have been considered as cheap, at least throughout 2020. Well, in, in the beginning of 2020, this would have been expensive. But in, in 2021, that would have been cheap. So let's see how, how the value of these develop. I know a lot of people are holding on to these as an investment. Is there anything else that I didn't show you that is worth showing? So I'm not going to go through some of these standard items, although they might be standard for me and they may be interesting to others, but I think a lot of the guys have seen most of the other ones uh, or maybe have even participated in the events. Like I think I haven't shown you this one here and this has definitely developed to be one of my favorite upper body items again i love the white kind of combinations so if you combine those with let's say these pants here and if you put on some crazy shoes and we need something crazy for glasses so the glasses and that jacket are from the same collection I think they also have shoes and I would love to get the shoes but they're just not for sale right now um, yeah but I mean I think I've got the main items I think this looks pretty cool like all white kind of thing I think that's pretty cool I know artifact has also white pants and black pants that are a little bit wider kind of with pockets on the side so I should have maybe gotten one of those for this outfit so this jacket is really cool I almost forgot to show you Let's see if there is anything else that is left and then we can wrap up. I mean, these horns are just gangsta, aren't they? Crazy. Something like this? <laughs> okay, this is... <laughs> okay, this will be a total... It will max out... 
<laughs> what you can do with the head. Okay, if you want to max this out, we will also have to add something on the teeth level. Maybe something like this. <laughs> Yeah, man, this is as far as you can go. I think this is the outfit for now. Take it or leave it. All right, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I think this is the outfit to end this video with. I hope you enjoyed this random display of material goods on this account. Take it easy. Enjoy Decentraland. And I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.